Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Renew. I'm Pastor Tony Cowan. Thanks for joining us and let's get right to the point. This week and next week we're talking about the fact that God is good. We're finding out that God is good and does good. As one translation says, God is good and only does good. See, there's only good that can proceed out of a very absolutely perfectly good God. Now, I know a lot of people would want to take issue with that. Religious tradition has told us some other things. But we have to go back to the word that God is only good and only can produce good. Yesterday, we found out from Genesis chapter 1 that in God's original creation, God created everything in very good form. In other words, it was absolutely good, perfectly good, because it came out of Him. He produced it, He created it, so He could only produce something that's absolutely perfectly good. But then, of course, Adam and Eve, they, you know, partook off the, uh, off the fruit off the forbidden tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now, from that point, man put in motion a mixture of good and evil. And that's what we're basically living in today. We're still living in a creation that has not been restored yet. This is a mixture of good and evil. We can enjoy and experience the good, but there's some evil over there with it. But you know, the thing is, God in our life, when we begin to follow God, walk with Him, He will teach us what we need to know about evil and lead us out of evil and into that good life that He has prepared for us in Christ Jesus. Now we're going to talk about a man today named David. Now David was a man after God's own heart. But in David's life, if you follow it, he experienced, like we said, both good and evil. Now some of it was his own bad choices and own, his own mistakes. But because he believed in the goodness of God and the mercy of God, God was able to turn many situations around or buffer them to some degree. Some of the things he experienced were bad choices of other people. And that happens to all of us. It's not always our bad decisions, it's somebody else's bad choice and decision. And some of it's just because we have an evil adversary out there who's particularly coming against the children of God. And he wants to try to manipulate and, and do things in our life to bring evil into our life. But in the middle of that, going through and seeing good and evil, we need to also have the right perspective and the right perception of God and to remember that God is a good God and that God's goodness will overcome and triumph over evil. Now we're going to look at a scripture today, one of my favorites. I say that all the time, but the whole Bible I think is my favorite, I guess. But Psalm 27, Psalm 27, this is words of David, verse 13. David said, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Now notice he was on the brink of losing heart. Now what is losing heart? That's becoming discouraged, despondent, fearful, to the point of really just throwing in the towel and giving up. And David was at that point. I don't know about you, but I've been at that point a couple of times. We've probably been at that point several times in our life. Just different things happen, evil buffering up, buffeting us all the time. And we get to the point of being fearful and despondent and discouraged. But I want you to notice what turned David's situation around. It wasn't the fact that anything on the outside changed, but something he focused on on the inside caused him to go from losing heart, the brink of losing heart, to taking heart. It says, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I know the world has an idea and a, and a saying, a phrase that says, seeing is believing. But the Bible has a saying that believing is seeing. You know, when David couldn't see anything on the outside that was good, it was all evil, it was all things coming against him, he said, I believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He began to encourage himself in the Lord by beginning to stir himself up on the inside, his heart, and believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You know, there's a story, and we won't go into great detail about it. It's found over in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 30. And uh, David and his men went out to attack an enemy, and some of the Am uh, Amalekites came around to Ziklag where David had his uh, his headquarters based. His He had left it, all the men and all of them left their wives, their kids there, all this stuff. They came in, the uh, Amalekites came in, 
burned the city and took their wives and their families captive and really kidnapped them. So when David and his army came back, of course, that was, uh, that was something evil they were looking at. It was something discouraging. Now, they could have lost heart. In fact, that the Bible says, and this is my translation, they cried their eyes out. But then the Bible says in verse number six of that, that David encouraged himself in the Lord or strengthened himself in the Lord. Now, how do you do that? Just what we were reading a minute ago, when he would have lost heart, he believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And so he stirred himself up, began to uh, believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Then he uh, you know, inquired of the Lord. The Lord gave him a plan, and he not only uh, went out and restored or, or got back all that was lost, regained all that was lost, including his wives, families, all the his men's wives and families, but he also got the spoil as well. In other words, he came out with more than he went in there with. And that's the way God is. He triumphs with his goodness over evil. This is the same David that says in Psalm 23 that God uh, spreads out a table before us in the presence of our enemies and that surely goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life. That's what you have to believe today, child of God. That's what's going to get you out and encourage you and strengthen you today. That's all the time I've got for today. If you like additional resources and materials, go to TonyCowan.org. We'll see you tomorrow.